No, I mean, no, I had knew him previously. I didn't even know he had worked out with Marquise up until like, I was about to go out there. So, no, I just had knew him from high school and wanted. To, I knew he was doing something. My parents wanted me to work out with him. I wanted to work out with him. So I just went out and did it. Could you describe kind of the arc of your year last year? Because you started off hot and got injured and then... Yeah, uh, I thought it was up and down year. I mean, at times I was hot, at times I was low, and then with injuries, I was play, kind of plagued by those. But um, it was a great learning experience for me. Um, you know, I'm just trying to take it every day. I've, I've watched all my film from last year, just trying to continue to get better from that uh, and develop this year and have a winning season this year. I missed the first part of what <clears throat> you were talking with Greg about. Who was it specifically that you worked with the most out, out in California? Uh, George Wellfield, yes, sir. And, and what were some of the things that he noticed right away that you needed to, to fix? Uh, just really working on the instep on my back foot, uh, planning on that really, and tra transitioning my weight through my throws and coming across on my front toe uh, just to get more power into the ball. Yes, and, and how soon after that work did you notice a, not just a difference but a consistent difference that you were doing that on a regular basis? Uh, yeah, I mean, it made a difference right, right away when I noticed it. Um, and I'm, I mean, I'm not perfect at it yet. I still I got a lot of work to do on that. So, I mean, I've been trying to do those drills out here, just practicing throwing, really focusing on it. And as I go into the summer, sir. Can you describe any of your low points and, and what you did to kind of, you know, um, rebound from that? I think the hardest part for me was not always being successful at times, not winning. I was really, I, I really didn't lose in high school. So to be losing and down, I got, got kind of down on myself and kind of like showed myself off for my team and kind of took it all on me and really, really uh, going, going to me and my coach and talked about just those low points you gotta, that defines you. I gotta be more uh, open and, you know, help everybody out, not just look at myself, but, you know, try to be the leader for our team when things aren't going good. And, you know, that's really been the focus for me in the spring. Was there a game in particular that, that sticks out for you? Um, <clears throat> maybe the Notre Dame. Notre Dame game was the worst one. Uh, for me personally, uh, it was a tough game, and uh, just the conditions and the uh, just everything that was going on in that game. Uh, that was probably the lowest point it seems for me. For me some, so. some of the guys have said you've been more vocal this spring. Yeah, was that kind of hard for you, or did it, at some point did it start coming easily? Uh, yeah, I mean it was hard for me at first. I mean in high school we didn't really have to talk a lot because we were always winning about 50 points, so <laughs> it, was, it was a little different. <laughs> but I, and he, so that's one of the things I learned coming in. You gotta you gotta be vocal. You gotta be the guy that people look to. So me and my as I, as I said, me and my coach have definitely me and Coach Hack have talked about like uh, the emphasis this spring being more vo of a vocal leader this year. Yes, sir. What else? Oh, sorry. What else is different for you? Um. Really, uh, I've been a lot more comfortable out here in the spring. Just I got a year under my belt, uh, so definitely more comfortable. The game's a lot slower than it was uh, bef last year. Um, so definitely my comfort and my confidence with my teammates, building that chemistry. I, I think I have great chemistry with all the receivers right now because we've been we've been working for a long time now. So I think that's really that's really gelling right now. And, and yeah, overall that's what. Chaz, you got a unique throwing motion. Has that ever been a, a concern with with the coaches here? Have you been a, a discussion point? Uh, no, not really. Um, I, my freshman year, my true freshman year, I kind of dipped the ball. I've been trying to work on that. I'm going to continue to work on that as, as I'm here and throughout my career. But that would be the biggest thing for me, sir. How much does it help that you and Nathan are pushing each other the way you guys are? Uh, I think it, I mean, I think it helps a lot. Coach Fedor talks about competition all the time. So we're, we're both trying to be the, the guy for this team, but you know we're both supporting each other at the same time, and it's great to have a guy you know going back and forth with and you kind of gauge yourself. Um, so yeah, we're both working hard, trying to be the best guy for this team. How have you seen him grow this spring? I mean, I think he's grown. Um, you know, Nate's uh, always been a, a, a cerebral player, so I mean he has great knowledge of the offense, and you know he's he's been doing well out here. I'm happy for him too. I mean we we came in as friends, so it's not like we're enemies or anything like that. So we both support each other. So. What's your what's your Nate's relationship like? Because obviously he had intense competition, but you also kind of teammates. Yeah, I mean, I mean we're pretty good friends. Uh, when I first got here, he was one of the first guys to you know help me out with the plays and all that stuff, and we all we were always partners in drills. So you know we had a pretty good relationship out here before we were even in competition. Um, so yeah, we don't we don't have any ill will. Like if he does good, I'm happy for him. If he, I do good, he's happy for me. So there's nothing like bad blood or anything like that. Every year, Fedora talks about once the season's over, he basically wipes the slate clean and you start fresh. As a player, though, is that a challenge to do when, when things maybe didn't go as well as you wanted them to last year? Uh, I mean, yeah, for me, 
um, you know, I gotta, I gotta remember the bad. So I, I mean, I can push for it, use it as fuel. I think a lot of guys are like that too. They don't want to just completely erase whatever they did. But you know, it, I mean, it says that. So you, everybody has a new start. It's a new year. We're all looking to have a winning season this year. And you know, that's the mindset. Yeah, we're right. Thank you. Thanks a lot, Chess. Thanks, Chess. Thanks, Chess.